What's going on, Omni Buddies? Mitch here. Today, I want to talk to you about one of my favorite series, one of my favorite uh, ensembles, one of my favorite comics, cartoons, action figures, toys, whatever. One of my favorites of all time, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, TMNT. And a lot of people get really confused about how to go about reading TMNT. Uh, if you're like me, um, one of my first memories of of really one of my first memories ever was of my dad giving me four all four Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, action figures. I had no idea what they were. I just he said, "Hey, Mitch, follow me," and I was like five years old, and so I followed him out into the living room, and he had the four action figures laid out on the floor and I was like no way those things are awesome I had no idea what they were I'd never seen the cartoon or anything like that but from that point on I was obsessed and I had never read the comics as a kid um, I didn't even know there were comics as a kid I just thought they were a cartoon and I just grew up eating up those cartoons and just watching them non-stop and then the movies coming out loved the movies I remember uh, being at um, the third movie with my mom and my sister in theaters walking in and we were literally the only ones in the theater and I thought that was amazing being the only person in the theater uh, apparently it's because everyone hated the movie I maybe it's nostalgia or whatever but I loved it uh, love Turtles in Time love the game everything about that um, growing up now and looking back on it yeah movies not the greatest but that nostalgia factor for me is amazing anyways so we're gonna talk about the comics this episode of Omni Buddies is sponsored by organic priced books get your latest collected edition comics and Funko Pops at discounted prices with fast and secure shipping and earn member rewards while doing it visit organicpricedbooks.com when I first started collecting I found out that there was uh, collected editions of the original comics and that there was now a ongoing of TMNT and I had no idea about either but I started reading TMNT by IDW which are these guys right here and I was absolutely blown away by what IDW is doing and it's with with uh, Kevin Eastman and uh, Laird and all those guys and I believe the first few issues are by Dan Duncan and there's uh, Coons in there and um, I love Duncan's art. Not a big fan of some of the other artists uh, that were on it, but now we've been having uh, uh, Mateus Santaloco. I think I'm saying his name right. And he's top, top three favorite artists of all time for me. In fact, I have uh, now it's upstairs in my office, but it is an original page that he drew of uh, TMNT from Secret History of the Foot Clan, and that's amazing. I'm just realizing I don't have my Secret History of the Foot Clan down here, but anyways, people ask me all the time, because they know I love TMNT, how do I go about reading it? And there's a ton of material out there, and I just break it down to two types and you're seeing them right here you have the original mirage in black and white and you have the new currently ongoing i have volume 12 you can see a couple more volumes up there volume 12 is on the way right now but it is still ongoing 12 i think collects up to almost issue 100 and they're still as of making this video they're on like issue 116 or something like that uh, so it's still ongoing and it ebbs and flows as any long long form story would, but overall the continuity, the um, storytelling, the art, the uh, mini series in that are just phenomenal. And I cannot stress enough, if you've never read any TMNT and you love the Ninja Turtles or you used to watch it and you have that nostalgia factor, this is 100% the place to start because it takes that and it kind of, it, it, it doesn't turn it on its head but it pays homage to that and it's got that nostalgia factor but it also has it's more grown up it's more adult and it's still about these teens obviously teenage mutant ninja turtles but it um it has heart 
and it follows those teens and the family strife and all the stuff on, you know, the mute, mute animals, uh, however you say it, mute animals, I think is what you say. Um, but you know, like Mondo Gecko and all those guys and how the two faction fight, but also team up and they're, they're, uh, they're all mutants together and in this and fighting Shredder and Krang and all these offshoot uh, government agencies coming after them. Uh, later on, it gets a little bit more mystical uh, with, with like the Rat King. It is amazing and it is so good. And how they collect these in IDW with these deluxe hardcovers is perfect because it puts it all in chronological order and it also includes the miniseries in the order that they should be in. So if there's the Ghostbusters or there's the Bebop and Rocksteady miniseries, all those are slipped in there as you go so you can keep track of where everything is. You don't have to worry about continuity or you know, uh, jumping back and forth. Some of the like big Marvel and DC books, uh, get you get a little lost and you have to actually download continuity uh, or um, orders to read it in these no you just follow it. one two three four and you go all the way through it's a perfect place to start for any new reader any old reader if you're mildly interested uh volume one and two are phenomenal with how they take the the origins of the ninja turtles but they kind of ramp it up and they do a little bit different so it's not just the same retelling uh doesn't affect everything throughout but it does have some cool ripple effects here and there so it's not like it uh, completely destroys the old mirage continuity um, but it kind of pays homage to it but it it uh, changes it a little bit makes it a little bit a little bit more interesting in, in my mind so that's idw mirage is uh volume one through six and these guys actually the form factor is a little little bit bigger you can see um but these are the original black and white editions and they have a ton of extra stuff in them uh, talking about it and they're so well made and it's just the original Mirage TMNT in a beautiful edition and telling an amazing story. And these, uh, I do warn people about, they're darker, they're grittier. The <laughs> Ninja Turtles straight up murder people it's way more brutal than IDW, which is more toned down. So if you got kids that you want, uh, that, you know, you want your a little bit more, or probably not kids. These probably aren't for kids either. They're still a little bit more brutal, but, and the family dynamic stuff, it's not for young readers. There's other TMNT and, uh, out there that you can, you can get that's for geared towards more young readers. And those are in like trade paperback trade paperbacks, but we're not talking about those. I'm just talking about these two today. But this is, if you want your straight up old school TMNT in black and white, the only way you tell them apart is by their weapons and their attitudes. And it's awesome. So if you're looking for, if you're looking to get into TMNT, you have your black and white original, you have your color current ongoing, and that's really where you should start or where you should think about starting. There's plenty of other offshoots. There's uh, Usagi Yojimbo team-ups. There's, uh, like I said, Ghostbusters. There's miniseries with Batman and TMNT. Those are in three hardcovers right now. I'm waiting to get, I bought the first one. It's in a little premiere edition, which I thought it calls it a deluxe hardcover, but it's not. Uh, I think volume two is actually deluxe size and volume three is back to premiere size. So the three volumes don't even match. So I'm waiting for all three of those to come out collected together to grab that. Um, volume, there's supposed to be a volume seven of Mirage collected edition coming out. Uh, it's been pushed back forever. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen or not, but it's, it is in continuity, but it's not part of the main story. It's a bunch of like the extra stories, uh, one shots and things like that. So it's not, you're not missing out on uh, the full-fledged story with that. So you can get one through six here. You can get one through 12 currently. Uh, uh, 13, volume 13 of IDW is currently solicited as of making this video. Uh, and they're awesome. I gotta say, like, all the different 
character arcs. They all are perfectly uniform. They have these beautiful ribbons uh, for them. Um, there are different versions of the Mirage hardcovers. And those are, uh, I believe they're called the Works. And they look like big pizza boxes. I decided to go for these because uh, they, I just like the originality of them, how they look like the old school TMNT. And I also noticed, and people had talked about quite a bit that the works editions, they tend to, the outside, the, the spines tend to rip and start to fall apart the more you read them and use them and a couple of mine i got i got this one used a couple of them are a little bit bumped and a couple torn edges but nothing bad uh these survive and read a lot better in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinions so i would go with the ultimate collections versus the works it's up to you what you want to do it's all the same content pretty much the same content same stories uh just package slightly different so that's how you can collect tmnt if you have any questions if you have any comments let me know again like subscribe follow share do all those things but most of all comment i love talking with you all about comics especially i love talking about tmnt and what's going on and as of the day of making this video there's a new TMNT game announced. It's uh, Revenge of the Shredder, and it looks like the old school Turtles in Time arcade game. It looks awesome. It's for Steam right now. Hopefully it's announced for PS5, uh, Sony, maybe Xbox. Uh, we'll see what happens because I'm not a big PC gamer, but uh, I'm excited for that. All things TMNT. So you can see my wife made me some peg people TMNT up there. Love them. That's what 90% of my nerd art is around my office is TMNT. So let's talk TMNT. Let's talk turtles. Take care.